For our first test, I'm at Peacehaven FC in southern England, where I want to find out just how important penalty stats are for a goalkeeper. And for that, I need some penalty takers. And to help them hone their penalty technique, we've got a penalty pro, Louis Saha. My penalty taking routine is simple. I try to focus on the, on the ball. I try to really focus on the contact, uh, make sure that I hit properly with enough precision, but strength to make sure that uh, he pass by the, the goalkeeper. And he told him where he was going to go, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Whilst Louis and I put the boys through their paces, behind the scenes, the F2 are secretly studying Peace Haven's penalty techniques, along with ex-England goalkeeper Paul Robinson and psychologist Hier Horde. The idea behind this experiment was to change the odds a little bit to see if it's possible to give the goalkeeper uh, a bigger chance using research. Right, this is the one we're looking at. 15. His go-to is an almost straight run-up and then opens his foot up at the last minute. Oh! oh. oh nice, nice well. really good. No, he's done the same again. Right, right, right. Oh. Crappy he is. 15. He goes left. That's accurate. No, it's... It's like pretty much oh, everybody. Wow. He scored everyone. Mm. I think you got good strike on the ball. You have to really focus on that. Yes, if you want to hit the target, you have to open up. Is down the middle the safest bet? Yeah. Yeah? yeah. Great nice. penalty, yeah. Nothing to say. <laughs> <laughs> So we've collected the data, and from this, we've calculated every player's dominant penalty. That's right, we're almost ready to go. All that's left is Paul, his earpiece. If you put that in, and we'll feed you the data through the earpiece. Thank you, boys. Make me look good. Let's do it. For the goalkeepers to do the research and to have their data down and to, to be prepared for this can really be a massively successful investment into the outcome of a penalty shootout. Right, lads, I hope you've been listening to all of Louis' tips when it comes to taking penalties, but I think it's time to take things to the next level now. Let's bring somebody in who's got some shot-stopping experience. <laughs> right, lads, it's time to put your penalties to the test. Robbo, if you can hear us, go to your left post and touch the left post. <laughs> he styled that yeah, out well. Yes. 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 Good man. I would always say to the goalkeeper, you've got absolutely nothing to lose here. Delay him as much as you can. He wants to get that over and done with. Robbo's right in his face, I know that. <laughs> <laughs> yes. If the goalkeeper saves one out of five shots, then the goalkeeper can very easily become the hero of a penalty shootout. We're staying with the data on this one, mate. Going left. Get in there! Yes! Get in there, Robbo! Oh, 15. 15 now. 15. We're up a few times. the last two left, so we think he's going to change to right. Oh! <laughs> Should have gone with the data. Yeah, Should have gone with the data. Right, 16. 16. The data says he's going left, yeah. and he missed his last one on the right. It's going to be left. It's going left. It has to be left. Oh, yeah. oh, oh that's that cheeky, that. Oh, he's got that in the middle. Keepers hate that, man. Like 12. The data says right. The majority are right. The data says yeah. right. Yeah. You judge it, though, Robbo. Pressured him out. Was that fingertips? Lucky. Okay. 11. I the last six are left, but he missed the last time. Yeah. Yeah. Should we say left? If you have a go-to penalty, it makes you a very easy target for goalkeepers who, who do their research. Get in there! Great save, Robo! Well done, Rob. It's off his line. It'll be really <laughs> <laughs> was right. This to me was a convincing demonstration that uh, with a little bit of spy work and, and a little bit of research and effective manner to feed the information to the goalkeeper, you actually get an edge in these situations. 